Hey, what's going on, everybody? Ryan here with... Mike. You're so terrible at that, you know that? And who else do we have with us today? Not Corey. Shut up, Corey. <laughs> he tries to be, like, humorous about it, and then it, like, completely backlashes on him. And it's funny. So, what is this? <laughs> um, Episode number 19, Mike? Number 19. Right? So, we were able to get everybody here in the same place after... A long time of people being gone and things not working. But we're, a, we're not in the same place, Ryan. You know, Mike is at his house and I'm at your house. And well, it's the same. Just, just thrown out the that, same uh, chat room, out Corey. The same chat room. <laughs> we're all in the same chat room right now, chatting. I don't okay. think is yeah, our we'll Skype calls considered chat rooms. I'd, I'd assume so. Well, what, mean, are they, what would they be considered then? Calls. Skype calls. Uh, yeah. Chat rooms. Well, I guess. I mean, there's a, there's, a, there's a chat below. There's an SM chat. Yes, I mean, so. Doesn't that count for something? Or does that not count for anything? All right, fine. Mm-hmm. Fine? All right, that's that's legit. All right, Mike, so what kind of sandwich did you get? I got a Jimmy John sandwich. <laughs> Starting off strong. Sandwich. No, but hey, <laughs> Talking I Talking about sandwiches. <laughs> That got really loud over there. Just watching the feed. Corey's Corey's being Spiked. amused by the wavelengths, Mike. <laughs> so Spiked many waves. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just back back on track. So Corey, I actually have a question for you. Oh jeez. Here we how, go. How, how's Anna? Terrible. We broke no, up and everything. <laughs> this is a serious a serious thing. Wait. How, how's the relationship? Wait. How you guys already broke up? No, Mike. <laughs> Are you <really> joking? <laughs> No, 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 no. Um, God, you're more. Man, Mike, you're dumber um, than I thought you were. Okay, okay. What What do you want to know? Well, Did you break I, up. Well, Mike, I don't think Mike knows anything. So, Mike, what What do you want to know? Did you break up? No, Mike, we didn't. Then why'd you say not exactly? Because <laughs> it was a joke, Mike. But then you... S- oh, my goodness. Can you not tell... Can you not hear well, the you, sarcasm you said, in my voice? You said something like... No, well, not exactly. Like, He's like, "How's Anna?" And I'm like, "Terrible." No, and then I said, "Then you said, never mind, just never mind." No, and then he said they broke up, and then you were like, "What?" Can you not hear the sarcasm Semi- in my voice, or is it just too serious for you? Mike, Mike is too serious for you. Anyways, anyways, I will. Mike, what do you want to know? Are you two still dating? Yes, Mike. Like for the third sh- time, answer. yes. Okay. He's getting know. pretty defensive about that. What do, you, what do you want to know then? Besides, uh, if uh, we didn't wait, break up. Um, uh, Riley. Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> there you go, dude. Get it. Oh, ch- get it. Get it. I have not talked to her since. Why? Like the summer when she like came to talk to me after I broke up with Leah. I haven't talked to her since. So, you know, she's just a person to me now. Obviously. An object. Sexual object. No, 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 no. I'm no. just kidding. You're not cheating on anybody. Not yet. See, every time, it, it just comes up with Riley. And... That was Mike, actually. I had no intention no, of bringing no, that up. No, no, with both of you. I had no intention. Of you. I had no intention of bringing that up. I was politely asking how the relationship Even the was going right now. Are spe- That's because you're geeking Are out. emphasizing on both of you. No, actually, that's just that's you and me. Okay. And that big one right there was you. Yes, I know. It's emphasizing on both. Okay, so I was just trying to be polite and ask how the relationship is going. How how is Anna? Uh, we are good, you know. She's still in that like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like hasn't even been a month yet. It's I was about to ask that actually. Ten days, I think it is. Ten days. Ten days till a month. No, so, you know, it's not. It's not. Hasn't been long. No, wait, time out now. Here's the trippy thing. We've talked about this, semi. You were doing, Mike, I told you about this, like dating things and hanging out for like over a month or two months prior mm, to. I wouldn't say it's a over. T- yes. I wouldn't say least, it's over two. At least be a, month. About a month. At least a month. A month. You're in the month window there. I'll give you that one. So before oh. you like declared a, an official title, right? Right. So, yeah, I don't know, 10 days. 
10 days? So where were you going? Are you counting? It was Facebook official. No, it... (laughs) No one does it anymore. That's like so 10 years ago. First off, first off, I just looked at my phone and it's the 9th and we started dating on October 19th. So 10 days. What? That's how I know. What? At least you people know the days you start dating people. What? 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 Exactly my point. You just... You really just say that, Corey? You just say that, Corey? What did I just say? Said the, the, you're, today is the ninth, start, and you start dating on the nineteenth. October nineteenth, I said. Yeah. That's it's ten. November. Yeah. Is that that's like three weeks? 10, that's, 20 that's twenty days. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. So ten days? No, twenty days. That's three weeks. Are you an idiot. What are you talking about? He doesn't know. He's he's not, okay. The night. Show That's him on the computer. Weeks. Click on the. Click on that thing. Okay, I got Go you. To the okay, I got, you. I got you. I got you. Okay. So three makes sense. Nine, we've been dating. No, sh- time out. The nineteenth of October is right here. Right. One, two, three weeks to the date. Yes, and next week is four weeks, which is a month. Yeah, a month of thir- a month has thirty-one days. Therefore, right now it is at as Mike said, days. twenty days. Oh my. Jesus, Corey. Just, you get the point. You get the point. Yeah, the point is, is they've been dating for 21 days, not yet a month, okay? Things are good, and that's good. <laughs> the emotions are there. <laughs> and then, I was just trying to be polite. Okay, where was the other part we were going to? Um, About what? Um, I don't know. It was... I was just saying, I was just trying to be polite. People wanted to know how you were, so I was like... Okay. I there was another part that I was going to get to. About her or about the? Where was he going with it, Mike? Call it out. I feel like Mike said something. I'm like, I'll get to that in a second. Yeah. But, but I don't remember what I it think is. That, after that, that was definitely that was definitely like the the like the month window or something there. No, no, I was trying to explain. Hey, did we tell Corey about my window? Do you remember that, Mike? What window? <laughs> the window yeah. things we were talking about a while ago. Were we talking about windows? No, like the <laughs> like there are a lot in like of a relationship symbols. thing. Do you remember that? Stages? Uh, you probably don't remember, it, honestly. Huh? Stages? stages? I don't know. No. Windows, stages. No, like stages. we talked about this. No, I don't think so. You got all. I rem- You got all these like things. I can't keep up with all your symbols. No, you remembered like um when we talked about what happened. Remember that? Uh, what happened? Obviously, you didn't tell me because I don't know what you're talking about. Well, my about. parents found out about the Oh. Shut. Uh, Corey already knows it. He wasn't even in the conversation when we talked about it. And I talked about the, like, the, like, the, the time frame stuff. Yeah, that, that type of window. Okay. Not, that, like, that glass window. windows. <laughs> I feel you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you really oh, thinking wow. about windows? Glass windows. Like, oh, I like this guy. Well, you, you should have heard what we were talking about but yesterday. This one keeps the insulation in better. Thursday. I wasn't think. I, mm-hmm. I was thinking he was using Windows as a symbol for something else. It's like a window. No, I was it, talking. It is. We were talking about the relationship thing, and I said Windows, and I was like, maybe he would remember that because we definitely talked about that. Yeah, I don't think he used the word window. Though. <laughs> I don't. I I, I did. did. I, I remember. I don't know. That's just a weird thing, okay? Yeah. And then I was like, at least Corey remembers the day they started being official, because I have no idea. Wait, what? What? That you and. Courtney, were official. I have no idea what day that was. She doesn't know either, so it's completely okay. Oh wait, maybe. Oh, that's you. You don't. Shouldn't you just kind of remember when it was? Not. It wasn't a day. Like it was just like established over time. It's like hey, we're kind of dating. We 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 talked about this. Like did it it come? Did did it become official once me and Corey found out about it? That when it officially became official. Wasn't it, what what week was that? In, I gave him like another week know. after we found out. Hey, what week was that in June? I don't it know. It was like we need w- the first week. Maybe. Wait, why did we? we why were we like, over? I don't even remember. We were just over. I don't remember, Mike. Why were you over? We were we were just over. Remember? Is it okay? What a rude guy. Why was I over? I don't think is okay, that rude. I don't know. I don't think that's rude. I don't know. I'm rude just saying. Say? It's just funny. No, it, it was definitely it was somewhere between like when I when summer started to like the end of June. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So June. That was that window. That that really narrows it down by a lot. It it wasn't. It was just. It was something. You still lit- got four weeks. To it was something it literally established over time. It was never an official date 
See, I want to say we found out maybe a week and a half, two weeks into June. Okay. And then maybe a week, week and a half later, I think it was official. Oh. I, I don't know. Like, it was just established over time. So I want, I'm want. i going to look at the calendar. That's the window here. Oh, I don't want to go back. Never mind. Screw it. <laughs> it was just established over time. That's all it was. We talked about this. I bet. So, Mike, you, were, you remember. You just don't remember. Things. I mean, we had to go up to Mayan. That was get funny. confirmation on it. See, my... I was going to... No, I don't remember now. Nah, not oh. even. I'm not even going to say it. It's so embarrassing. Uh, Mike, how's your lady friend that you don't have? <laughs> oh. Kidding, you probably do. You just don't tell us about her. Jill. Sally Palmer and her five friends. Her name's Jill. Get it? Get no, it? I don't get it. <laughs> Mike, how is the... Go- Look at your right hand and what does it spell? J-I-L-L. So, Mike, how's your lady friend? Ah, I see. <laughs> ah. Or I Sally was, Palmer and her five friends. I was looking at, like, it backwards. So it was, like, <laughs> finger, 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 thumb. And I was like, what? You're crazy. <laughs> so now he's changing the subject again. What, me? No, not you, him. Oh, I was just explaining past. my situation, right? Calm down. Why you gotta yeah, be so... so how's your... So easily. Who's your friend? Because you can't read your hand. <laughs> well, so I don't need to. Like? I don't need to read my hand. To be honest, I don't think that's a valuable skill in the real world. Answer mm-hmm. the question, though. What question. How is your lady friend? You see, when you use the word "lady friend," that could that could oh, mean multiple could people. Just saying. Well, who are you? The one uh, you have intimate relationship with. There you go. Who are you in? Uh, I don't think I have who, who you, uh, relationship with anybody. He probably doesn't actually. Well, are you talking oh, to anybody I'm, recently? I talk to people every You're day. You're not gonna. Yeah. You're are really you, hard to. Why are you being an there? asshole, Mike? Because you're you're putting you down know these exactly questions. These questions. That are so ambiguous that I can answer them. And you're giving us stupid like answers. That's what you're doing. We want straight answers, Mike. I am giving you straight answers. You, you are not. Not the answers you're, you're, looking, you're, looking, you're looking for. Well, so who? What? What female are you in uh, conversation with right now? Besides your mom, sisters, like, or sisters, yeah, yes. sisters, ex- what? And your grandma. I don't Family talk to members grandma. excluded. Um. Just who? I don't know. People. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna throw out names over Skype. Why not? First names. Why would I do that? Why not? You already did it with me. Riley, Anna, Courtney. I don't. I don't care. He doesn't care. No. I don't even know Courtney's last name. Uh, All right. Um, I'm gonna keep going here. We uh, just keep going, Mike. We're not gonna. Uh, don't don't mind anything here. Why was that not? Your your audio is not. I can still hear him. You can speak can louder. I can. Well, he's just gotta speak louder in the ears. I fixed it. Corey, talk. Uh, hello. Hello. Yeah. See, I, I just have to fix it. It. If it does it again, it's it's an easy fix. So. <laughs> it's just. Couple buttons, click, and then. Oh, I didn't change the bit rate. That's not good. Fix me now. Oh, there we go. Fix me now. Okay. Okay. So, Mike, you do know her last name. Do you want me to tell you? Because I really don't care. If you want to know, I'll tell you. I'll put no, it in the chat. I don't if you want. want... Know. I was just kidding. I was mm-hmm. actually just stalling. Stalling for what? He was avoiding the questions. Mm, so, so there is stupid. someone he's talking to. He's avoiding the questions. I mean, he's, there's clearly he's hiding something. There's always something with Mike. He just won't tell you. So tell. Why? It's not like anyone's gonna listen to this anyways. Exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ouch. There's those five viewers. Hmm. Just don't avoid the question. Dude, last night I didn't get home to like four. Four. It was like four. Four. Yeah. Why four? Cause I like four a.m. Yeah. For what? Cause I didn't come home. 
Why? Because I was out. Doing what? <laughs> what were you doing, Ryan? So, ah, shit. Um, we saw me. I went. I was out with Courtney. We saw after work, so we saw a movie. And we did Thor. Mhm. Mm-hmm. It's a good movie. Good movie. It was a good movie. Wait, how does that movie even I run till four in the morning? It didn't. You're just so stupid, Mike. You're just... <laughs> Are you waiting in line? Yeah, there was a midnight premiere. Yeah. No, we're not waiting in line. What are you talking about? Oh, no, I just get home to four. So then my mom, when I got home today, she was like, a little tired, Ryan? A little sleepy? I was like, no, ma- I'm good, mom. I'm, I'm all right. I'm still alive. <laughs> nope, I'm good. She's like, you sure? You know, late, late, late night last night? And I was like, um, I guess so. <laughs> Which is funny because she was like not being blatant about it because there were kids around. Why? Oh, oh okay. You didn't yeah. get that, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This kid, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just breaking the goddamn microphone over here. <laughs> Can't even fucking keep a straight face. No, but just because I got home so late or whatever. Uh, that's and funny. my dad was like, my dad was like, when I talked to him, he's like, hey, next time you 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 stay out that late and don't come home, um, make sure you you, you call or something and tell uh and tell us. Cause your mom was geeking. <sighs> my parents don't care. <laughs> my parents are cool parents as long as I come home. home. Well, my parents are like. They don't care how late I stay out because, I don't know, I guess it's because I'm 18 now <laughs> and I can legally be out late all you night at home. I'm going to ask them next time I see But, uh, I don't know, as long as they know, like, where you're at, who you're at, with. Yeah, as long as they know where a I'm general at. General like, idea. If, yeah, general idea. It's like, if my friends are having a bonfire and it's like, hey, still at their house or something Jokes like that. for it's everybody. Like, yeah, still at their house. What? What? What'd you say? Mike, you gotta, you gotta make yourself heard more during these things. Yeah, I mean, I'm sitting, like, across the room staring at a screen at these wavelengths, and I can't hear you. <laughs> Sometimes. Ah, uh, I just said bonfires, drugs for everybody. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, what are you going to do? Can't really, uh... What are you going to do? Avoid drugs, the... but what else? Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't... I'm not going to do any of that stuff, so... In my, I'm pretty sure my parents know that. The only person they really have to worry about is my sister. She's kind of the wild card. My brother, he just stays at home and plays Xbox all night. So it doesn't even matter. It's <laughs> so true. It's funny, though, because it's like completely true. Yeah, it is true. So, and it was just late, late last night. Late night last night. Oh, I got home and I went to bed right away. I, I got two hours of sleep and then I woke up. <laughs> I had to go to work. That sucks. I um, got Taco Bell. I ate. Then I went to bed. You know, honestly, the worst thing about like making I was out by eleven about about trying to do things like on Friday night, yeah, or even Saturday night if people are working, is it's like Friday night if I'm working and I like have plans, I like have to book it to get out of there. You saw me yesterday. Yeah, you were gone. I was booking it to get out of there because I could have easily been there till like nine thirty, ten o'clock if I wanted to <laughs> installed it out, but I I was booking it, trying to get the heck out of there. I I actually need to change my availability, dude. Why don't you do that? You have your numbers in the past. I know, I have it. I just, just it's so I just, easy. I'm never on the computer. Corey, it takes five minutes. I know it takes five to minutes, but I never a, get the chance to go to on submit the computer. Someone's always on it. So you get your own computer. It solves everything, right, I'm Mike? Sorry, I don't have enough money yeah. to go on it. Your own computer so solves Corey, everything. Corey. What are you gonna do swimming then? I am doing swimming. Well, swimming started last Friday, I think. Yeah, Dude, you're crazy. Friday. Dude, you're crazy. Why? I don't know. Swimming. That's not swimming. What? Swimming. Swimming. Pretty hard. So? Pretty hard. It is pretty hard, I must say. Like, I, uh, what is it going to say? Oh, um, this week. What are you going to say? It's always, like, really hard in the first, like, I want to say 30 minutes of practice, and that's like kind of when you're still warming up. Yeah. But it, it's like hard, like physically wise, too. And my problem is always like breathing. It's like you always have to have your head under the water. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then every once, every few strokes, you bring your head up just a little bit, and then you take some air. 
and then you keep going, but it's like you're getting little oxygen to like move yourself, but just keep going with and burn up. Uh huh. So in a race, let's say in a, I want to say a fifty, yeah, fifty, because only like down and back is only fifty meters. Yeah. Yeah. So only down and back 50 50 meters is uh you probably take at most three breaths is how much you should be taking yeah and that is little oxygen to work with yeah yeah what you're saying i've tried swimming before it didn't last very long yeah, like I already bought the stuff and I've already made a commitment to it, so it's like what'd I can't you, really back what'd out. What did you have to buy for it? I had to buy a jammer, and then I've already, I've already turned in some forms, and already like put in my order for the swimsuit that we for meets. So basically, I've already made a commitment, so gotta write it out now. Oh well, you know. Did you hear about JJ? What was gonna swim? Like he was there for three days and then he quit. Oh, then he was not going anymore. I don't know. I haven't. I didn't know he stopped going. I did sit with him on Friday at lunch. Yeah, he he showed up for three days and then he just kind of quit. He probably, he probably you knew he wasn't gonna do that. Mm, no, it kind of sucks now, but oh well. I mean, hey man, I might do tennis this year. You should. I should, but Maybe I probably the team, won't. They have like what three people on the team, dude. I I probably won't play tennis. What? If, why not? Because, I don't know. Why not? Go have fun. Because I have other things that I do with my time. Like what? Work? Not really. You just want to work all day? Not really. I only work four days a week, Corey. Still, you get the point. I have off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, not bad. I mean, like... But I do stuff all those days, so... No, oh, still. Like, why not work? Why not go play tennis? Why not? Go have fun. Money. Because doing not playing sports is still fun. So I have to find stuff. Like, there's so much that I have that I want to do. I just don't have enough time to do any of it. All those games, no time. This, no time. That sucks. I have no time to do anything. Make time. I there, there's there's no time. Like, what are you doing, dude? Those like f- this four days of the week. Like this week, okay. You want sex with your girlfriend? Um. Uh-huh. Oh. That that might have happened recently, but we won't go. No, there. <laughs> I don't care. I really. But um, like okay, so they are this week. Hot. What? This week. Oh, um, wow! 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 Oh. Um, <laughs> this is like off air stuff, Corey. Fre- you know better than that. How frequent is this? Um, okay, so like this week. What is this week? Monday. What I do Monday? I can't remember. No, okay, Monday I didn't do anything, because that was, like, my one day. Uh-oh. That was, like, my day off. Oh. Okay, so Monday was my day off, right? And then Tuesday I hung out with Courtney, because she had off. What, what was what's that? Wait, what? Quotes. What? What, Mike? Quotes. I don't know. But um, I had off Tuesday, and we had off. So we hung out Tuesday, and then we hung out again Wednesday, because she had off, too. And then Thursday I went to work, and then Friday I went to work. That's my Busy. Yeah, you're good. Oh, am I good? No. Oh, just kidding. You're not good. Oh. Dude, now it's geeking out. Like, maybe I should run it as the administrator and it would fix it. Uh, well, Wait, you didn't run it as administrator? No, I mean, I didn't say you had to, but I think it makes sense to run it as the administrator. Okay, now go. Okay. Um, This week was kind of hard to make plans with Anna. Yeah, you hung out with her today, though, didn't you? Yeah, for a little bit. I mean, Dude. we went to go see the play, which was pretty good by it. Even though it's an understudy, but it was still good. I mean... A play? They went... They always make good plays. Yeah, the play. They drama do... Club. Yeah. Oh, Drama Club Drama play. Club always does a good job. Yeah. yeah. What? What? Why Why is it gay? It's Drama like, you Club. You get your priorities straight. No, but, dude, I, that's the thing, dude. It's so... It's hard to... Do you to... ever go watch the Drama Club perform? Yeah, dude, they perform every single day in uh, study hall for me. Do they really now? What? No, how does no they don't? How the heck does that work? Practice every single day, so you know. Oh, okay, practice. Okay, well, it's not really performing then if it's practice. Well, it's pretty much the same thing. I wouldn't say so. Yeah, I'd say it's 
rather uh rather different mic? No, I think it's the same. No, but see that that's that's the catch, Corey. It's it honestly gets mm. hard to to make time to do stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, but like, anyways, what I was gonna say about the drama club, like, I mean, our drama club always puts on pretty good plays. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I enjoy it. I've been going since like what? Since I could actually like drive to them. So that's like I sophomore mean, year. They, yeah, sophomore year. I mean, they do a good job. Mm-hmm. I, I like them. I enjoy them. And yeah. So let's see here. Yeah, today I hung out with Anna for a little bit. We just basically went to the the play, mm-hmm. and I had to take her home because she had to go to church. And then she's doing something up in Peninsula where it's like they reenact, like the people reenact what it's like for the uh, Underground Railroad. Okay. During like you know the slaves like running yeah. away. I mean. So she's a slave. Her parents. <laughs> yeah, <a> sex slave. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Yeah. Like. Their her parents are into that like history stuff. Like mm-hmm. they think it's cool, you know. A tip. I mean, not tip bad. to the groove. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to that actually go like see and experience what it's like, like or like a yeah. reenactment of it. It would be uh-huh. kind of cool. And then tomorrow we're probably gonna hang out for a little bit, and then I go to work at like what six, I think. I don't know, Corey. I go to work at five thirty in the morning. Why? Why five thirty in the morning? So I have to open. Other people aren't going to be there. That's terrible. Dude, we, Zeke wasn't there this morning when I got there. Who's Zeke? The opener. I don't know who that is. Well, the person who opens grill wasn't there. He didn't come in. Why? I don't know. He didn't come in. So I was by myself. Did he ever yeah. come in? Yeah. No, he didn't come in. And then, like, Adam was like, yeah, I called him. He didn't call me back. And I don't know what's going on. Who's Adam? The one manager. Looks like Seth Rogen. You haven't seen him? You didn't see him last time? Uh, does he have a... Yeah, the beard. The, yeah. the, the mm-hmm. I, I want to yeah, like, say Mutton Chops. I want to say Mutton Chops. He looks but I like Seth Rogen. Oh, yeah. And he sounds just like him. Isn't he new? Yeah, he started uh, like last week. Yeah, last Sunday. <laughs> he's cool, though. He was really cool today. He's not like. He's a good manager. He's not really good at cooking. He's you not good by himself. I haven't worked with in a while. Who? Doug. Doug left. What? Yeah, th- Doug th- left. Yeah, didn't did you did you not hear last week the conversation? That's why Adam came. No, um, why Doug got transferred to Middleburg Heights, I guess. Gary got promoted to assistant manager. So where's assistant- Gary going? No, Gary or got he- promoted. Oh, Gary got promoted to the Doug spot, and then Adam took Gary's spot. Oh. I like Doug. I know, right? I'm I so, like Doug. Everyone was so mad that Doug left. Like he didn't even like say anything. It was just like he was just he gone. Was, he was gone. Like that's literally what happened. It was like, oh, oh all right. I like Doug. So, um, dang. <laughs> back, uh, you know. Oh well, but Adam Adam's cool though, so it's okay. I mean, I've I only said hi. He said like, hey, I'm Adam, and I said, hey, I'm Corey. That's that's it. He he's cool. That's he's, all I've said to him so far. He's a cool manager. And then he left. He's cool. Okay. He's legit. So I mean, yeah, that's Bob Evans for you, Mike. How's Dairy Queen? Uh, fine. <laughs> Does Dairy Queen suck? Oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Really? I don't get that many hours, but you know. How many hours a week do you get? Like ten. Ten. Ten hours. How much? Like, yeah, that's about what I get actually. Uh, it's that's not enough. It's not even worth working. Yeah, <laughs> work like I'm so happy. If I wasn't making nine dollars an hour, I'd be really upset with my hours. But I don't care anymore. Yeah, cause... I only make minimum wage. Dude, you should ask. How much? You like wait tomorrow, Ryan? How much do you wait, take home wait, of every paycheck? Take home every paycheck. Me? Yeah. Like out without taxes? Taxes. Like taxes, taxes taken out. With yeah, taxes. Well, lately I think taxes. it's been around. Usually it's like one seventy-five to one ninety lately, and that's like low twenty. That's like just over twenty hours. Sorry, I was that's... listening. That is how much? Like one seventy-five to one ninety. One seventy-five to one ninety oh. a week. A week ish. A week. Yeah. Yeah. I get paid weekly. It's not. It's not that good. It used to be over two hundred. Dude, I make like one hundred and sixty every two weeks. 
Yeah, that's about right. So, hey, Corey, tomorrow when you go to work, before you leave, be like, Gary, I heard Nate put his two weeks in. Can I cook now? Let's see what he says. He'll be like, and then I'll say, like, I'll, I'll talk to Mandy about it. Uh, okay. Do it. Why wouldn't you? Because, I don't know. Why not? Mike, why wouldn't you put in to cook and make more money? I don't know. You don't like it? You don't like it? You don't like it? I, I, I don't. I really don't, honestly. Well, you're doing dishes. I didn't like doing dishes. I was I was hip with it for a while. I mean, I'm okay with it. Like, I mean, it's easy and all. But it's like, I don't think I want to, like, be at Bob Evans much. Why? I don't know. I just don't really enjoy being there. Well, one, because you're doing dishes and you don't really have anyone to talk to. And because you're new, you don't really know anybody. You got to break it in, dude. It takes a couple months to get acquainted with the people. It takes a couple months. Yeah. If you're like you and me, where you're kind of like more of a quiet person, kind of keeps yourself more. You have to get yourself out there. And then once you're out there, it's like all, it's all uphill and so nice. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'm going to just ride it out for a little bit longer. I know that for sure. Just ask to be a cook. And then Possibly. Gary will be like, okay. <laughs> and then you can work with me and David and Matt. Wait, where are, right where are you right now? Me? Yeah. I'm dish tank operator. Is that an actual position? What? Yeah, dish tank. Yeah, dishes all day, all night. You know. No, I don't, I mean, it's I don't just really easy know. Dishes, grill, cook, KP, it's easy. server, host. It's all really easy once you get good at it. It's it's so easy. So easy. I wasn't really doing too good today. I was like, I was going like so slow today because I was tired. And I was like, uh, I don't really care. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell Mike about that position at the hospital that my mom was told about. So, I guess at my, where my mom works at the hospital, there, like, there's a a part time shift open, but it's like yeah. two days a week for ten hours a day, yeah. for two like two days a week for ten hours. Yeah, that is a long shift. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. But but what are you doing though? Um, like, what's the job? If I'm correct, it is housekeeping, I think. Well, what's what would housekeeping be at the hospital? And um, yeah, I was about to get to that. It's basically you take food to patients and just help out around the area, like I guess, like if something needs, if someone needs new sheets, you just take them and replace them. And then if, like, let's say the kitchen needs help with anything, you help there. Just just helping out, I guess. Well, it, it's something. But then, it's like, but like you said, though, those shifts are definitely weekend shifts. Because you're not going to... You, I know, aren't going to work a 10-hour shift after school one day. No, not at all. Because that's, like, 3 especially o'clock after like because 2 in the like, morning. No, especially because it's, like, right now I go to school at, like, 7 o'clock. I'm there until 2.40, and then I go to swimming until 5.30. So basically, and then some nights I also work from 7 to 10. So 7 to 10? Night- oh my goodness. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you poor 7.45. Thing. I got off early. I but got off early it, today. What I'm saying is like I sometimes don't get much chance to be home. Like Those nights where I go to school, swimming, then, oh, then work, work yeah. I'm only home for like... 20 minutes, if that. That's why I don't do sports anymore. I mean, well, honestly, work is not my top priority. Yeah, I, see, that's the thing. Like, it all depends I what mean, you want to do. Work is just something, so Actually, I make some cash yeah. to, like, have spending dollar, money dollar so bills. I can just be like, hey, I want to... What? Dollar, dollar bills. Yeah, it's, it's something where it's like, I just want to... If I want to go out with friends, I can just be like... You have I have now, money, I don't not? have to worry about anything. I don't have to ask my mom or dad for money. <laughs> I don't know. It it's all like, it's, it's like there. it's like a path. It's like a route slash like path thing that you. It's like because 
everyone has a different idea of how much they want to work when they're in high school or in college, you know, and balance it up with other things they want to do. Like, some people want to do sports work and do that, so it limits how much you can work and how much you can do sports and limits everything. Some people are like, it's, it's worth it more just to work more and make more money. That's what I want to do, so then I just do that. Yeah. Um. Some people don't end up working a lot and they just kind of chill or whatever. It all depends. I mean, for me, it's something like, it's like while I'm still in like high school and college, like I want to have fun while I still can because it's like basically for the rest of your life you're going to be working. That's, I mean, it depends on the path you go down, what you choose to do, how you choose to do it. No, you'll always be working. working. Yeah, exactly. Like a yes and no thing though, because it depends. It depends what you do for work and if you really classify working as like actually working. You know what I mean? Well, it's it's always it's still working technically, whether you yeah, enjoy it or working, not. Yeah, it's still working, but like it's to, still working. Yeah, but it's it makes depending on what you're doing, it helps classify the level of work or you know what I mean, the enjoyment, yeah. what how you look at it or whatever. Yeah, it's like I don't know, maybe I don't know if I totally enjoyed at Bob Evans quite yet, but it's like. You know, write it out a little bit longer. It's work. I know. You you're, you're, you you haven't like, been there long enough to develop the the ethic that really it's it's not work at all. It's just a big game. It's it's a big joke. I mean, it's like I still want to find something where it's like if I go to work, I can still have fun with it. You can have fun there, dude. You just got to give it time. You got to know, know the people. I know. That's, that's I mean, I've only been there for like maybe a month, month yeah, and a half. That's so what I'm saying. Like, you don't really know the people, and you haven't really been the most talkative person, Corey. I know. I mean, Don't worry. I was the same way when I started, so it's okay. And I've changed a lot. I mean, you got to be... I mean, being in cross-country has definitely like changed me personality-wise uh-huh. a lot. I mean... Yeah, working, working honestly changed my personality a lot. I mean, I... Like, for cross-country, it's like... Sophomore year, I was, I mean, I I was friends with, like, the whole team and all, but it's, like, wasn't the most vocal person, and then, like, and I was underclassman, so, I yeah. Then, junior year, I became an upperclassman, and it's, like, I started talking more, and it's, like, my personality started coming out more, and then, end of that season, it's, like, I, I became, I was announced as a senior captain of the team Uh uh-huh so it's like suddenly i have like this huge responsibility on my shoulders and it's a leadership role oh boy yeah i mean i got a leadership role on the team now and it's like i'm trying to make sure like people are coming to like summer runs and like trying to emphasize the fact that like you got to run in the summer or else you're just not going to do well or make sure people understand what we do like on meet days and all that stuff and it's like I definitely became a more vocal person throughout my experience of cross country. And it's like at our banquet on Wednesday, it's like I like the seniors uh, went up and talked and it's like I had no problem talking in front of everyone. It it, it just just was natural to me. I was comfortable with it because it's like, which, by the way, was a very, very sad banquet i must say why was it sad what why was it sad i don't know there it was it was just sad because it's like cross country has like changed my life okay a lot you know and it's like all the people i've gotten to know throughout the three years that i've ran mm-hmm. and it's like and i'll be honest with you i even like shed a few tears i mean i cried a little bit i'm not Whoa. even kidding like i can i can comfortably what, bitch. what? <laughs> shut up mike's just a hater I mean, it's it was just such like an emotional bond with like everyone and just like the sport itself. I mean, like even our head coach cried a little bit. I mean, because like one maybe like one of the big reasons is like most of the a lot of the people who are graduating this year are the people who've been there with him since he started coaching, mm-hmm. which I was one of them. So it's like, yeah, seeing us go being a part of his original team th- three years ago, I mean, it must have been, like, really sad for him and stuff. And it was, like, it was really sad for me. Like, I like the part that really killed me was uh, we were doing one last breakout, you know? I mean, first we started off with 
our one friend who's a junior and stuff, he like he did his like little pre race prep pep talk where he's like, If you puke I wanna see you get on all four fours and and eat it up and use it as energy and keep on going and like you know that's just mm-hmm. something like to calm your nerves and laugh a little bit and then the other captain like he did the cult when i say cult you say pride thing mm-hmm. and then it was my turn to go up so when it was like cult pack on three and then i was like one two three like really loud like i and then like it was like everyone was like cult pack and then it was just like right there was when it hit me really hard and then it was just like and then like i mean i was holding it back for a little bit and then i saw my my friend who's also been on the team since our sophomore year and he was like he was crying i mean and then that just like just set me over the edge and i was, mm-hmm. just lost it from there and hugging everybody and it was just it was a sad time i must say see that's like the thing, like you, that whole like the the whole experience of like so your experience is cross country, right? Right. That kind of an experience over time can be applied to for to to each individual and each individual person has like their own experience just like that, just in like a different way. You know what I mean? Right. And different ways they they do things, and it's just interesting. Yeah, it's like with me, it's like cross country has changed my life like mm-hmm. tremendously. Yep. It's like. I'm in like probably I'm in really good shape and it's like I'm very athletic now. I mean, I, it's like I'm a, I'm a twig. Mm-hmm. It's like I mean, I've lost I, I lost weight. I'm not even kidding since sophomore year, which was pretty in, impressive. Uh-huh. And like it's like I become like stronger. It's like I'm becoming more toned and defined and stuff. And it's like in my experiences in cross country have probably been like some of the best experiences in my life. Uh huh. And it's like, I can't really like, I'm not saying like it's the best in my life, but it's like some mm-hmm. of the best. Like, I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna have these memories forever, mm-hmm. and it's just, it's yeah, it's been like, a great yeah, three years. Finding moments of things, things that you've achieved, you're proud of, people, it's all like that people kind of I've stuff. met, the uh-huh. things that we've done together. It's just, it's, yeah. it's been a great three years. I mean, and then all of a sudden, it's like, I won't be back next year. It's like, it hits me, and then it's like, I'm just like, oh, it's like, it's it's over. It's, I can't believe it's over. Uh huh. I mean, Mike, I don't, I know you used to run cross country, but like you, you quit after your freshman year, right? Yeah. So it's like you don't have that. You've never built up that. The longevity, but yeah. also his team is a lot bigger too, though. So yeah, still, no, it was it was still there. I know what he's talking about. Yeah, it was still there. I mean, I mean, I tried to do it, but I just was growing up and stuff like that, so I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, like I like we have a team of roughly fifteen guys, fifteen girls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like really, it's kind of like a little family. You know what I mean? Yep. As where maybe your team where you have twenty five guys and like thirty girls, uh huh, yeah. It's just it just all depends, you know, how you apply uh those experiences. Like everyone's experiences are different. You know what I mean? Like, what would you say is um Have you had Mike? Have you had a um What would you call that? Like an activity? Not really an activity. Just like a emotional bond no, with someone kind of or something? something. I guess, yeah, you could call it something like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? No. Well, like a, an instance of like a period of time with like doing something consistently that's like kind of like changed your life or your mindset or... Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Right, well, what's that? What, what was that? Uh, I don't know. Life. I, I just, yeah, I, I had one of those. I just, oh, had, I just had one of those life know. experiences that changed my mindset. That just that changed but, me yeah, like, somehow. But yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, when we were going around like hugging each other, it's like, I mean, I went up to Anna and it was just like, dirty. What? What? <laughs> Nothing. And it was just like, you, you could catch that one, Mike. Yeah, I caught it. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't job. catch it at all. Good man, Mike. I mean, it was just. I don't know. She was just kind of there to comfort me and stuff, and it was like, 
Wait, is she a and senior? Like, no, she's a sophomore. But whatever. Always dating down, Corey. <laughs> hey, hey, everyone in my grade and the junior grade are a bunch of sluts. I'm doing just fine, so I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, it's like we were, I was just a long hug and it was just like very comforting for me. It was just like, and she, we got in the car and we went to Dairy Queen afterwards and she's like, don't you ever cry in front of me again because I cannot handle that. Dude. And I was like, sorry, there's just like, just, it was just something that came out. And then she told me, it's like, the reason why is because it showed, well, not the reason why, but she said it shows what I care about. Oh, yeah, when you, um, you get down, like, the emotional side of things or whatnot. Yeah. Or when you just talk about certain things or your, your body language, your attitude towards things, it shows what you're passionate about, what you care about, who you are, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's that's deep stuff. She's like, it shows what who or like, like what you care about, and obviously, mm-hmm. values. Because the little things like that can speak for a lot more when it comes to the future, other things, and the rest of your life. Just like the small steps that you take now, and the kind of commitment you have towards. Something is that's a three-year thing. It's a smaller thing in, in the grand scheme of your life and the commitment you've had towards it. And what you've put into it shows how much you care about that. And then it translates to how much more you'll care about other things down the road or um, at any given time. Yeah, like when I was a sophomore, it's like oh, uh, we were at the banquet sophomore year. And it's like I saw the seniors and it's like I never really thought that I was going to be in their position like well like i knew i would mm-hmm. be but it's just like you i never think thought about it. it would give me like such a you didn't emotional think... toll like i mean yeah I, the past two years it's like i saw the seniors go by and it's like they did their speech at the end and we all like shook hands afterwards and like uh-huh it's like hey it's been fun but it's like it never like like for them or us or me it was never like really emotional like it was this banquet like as we're like the past two years where it was like i mean it was like a little like oh it's been fun it's like i'm sad that i'm a little like i'm disappointed that we're leaving but it's like never there were any tears that broke mm-hmm. out as of where this year it was just everyone was just so sad and mm-hmm. just just it was just hard yeah like it's that's one of those things too where you think about it, it's like you when you're you start with something you have something you never as it's happening or as it's like it's over or as it's progressing you you think about it and you think you never would have thought that it would have happened like that or that it would be happening or that it would have such an effect on you as it did you know what i'm saying uh-huh. yeah and it's just it's a, it's a crazy thing to think about when you actually when you think about it just for like a minute or it goes a second. back to like when i was sophomore i never thought it was going to have much of mm-hmm. a a toll on me. As yeah, you didn't think you'd carry it like the like, way it did. I mean, I know, I know for track and swimming, it's just gonna be like, oh, I'm graduating, whatever. I mean, it's been fun, guys, but it's like, I mean, swimming. This is my first year mm-hmm. swimming, so it's like I'm not like. It just I, wasn't I don't something. Even feel part of the team, It wasn't something honestly. you poured yourself into more. Yeah, just and in track, weird. I just started doing track last year. Mm-hmm. I should have done sophomore year, honestly, but you know, whatever. But it's like track. There's, it's larger team. There's like everyone split up into groups, and it's like not really much of a family emotional toll, family. you can say. But like, yeah, family. Yeah. Like we still have like some of the cross country kids on the distance team for track, and it's like so. It's like we already are bonded together, but it's like it's, it's a different setting. Yeah. It's a kind of bond, you know. There's different kinds of bonds when it comes to. When you think of uh, you think of sports, work, friends, school, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it's, it's different like, for everybody. Different kinds of it, relationships, different kinds of emotions that come out of it. The way you look at it, the way you think about it, things that you know happen or whatnot. It's it's crazy stuff. Yeah, like all the work that I put in the cross country and how mm-hmm. far I've come. Considering my first ever five k was was roughly thirty five minutes. Mm-hmm. And now I'm down into like low 19s. It's like just the just how far yeah. I've come is you just it, you remarkable. Think it, you think about those like little things and all that and how it happened. And 
it's just it's 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 crazy to when you think about where you started and where you you are now and how much it's changed and how much it's changed me it's mm-hmm. like there's a lot yeah but i mean it definitely like under privilege like not under privilege but like people don't care about the sport honestly you know at our school they only care about football basketball <laughs> Barely yeah. even basketball, actually. They yeah. just care about football. And it's it sucks because it's like, our football team sucks. It's a football thing. I it's mean, all about the girls' the... cross-country team has probably made it closer made it closer to states than every other sport in our school mm-hmm. for this fall season. You, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, we made it to regionals. Yeah, you did have two people do that. Yeah, we had two people in regionals where every other fall sport didn't even make it out of districts. We were the closest ones to state. Wait, you're te- so, you guys didn't make, didn't make it to states? No, we didn't. Oh, we made it. Well, you're a big time school like Shug, so you better make it. <laughs> oh, Just yeah. Saying. Yeah. So, Mike, what 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 is your uh? Have you had a story like Corey or uh, an activity or an object that has done anything remotely to you lately? Nope. No? No. <laughs> First he told us yet, and we're like, just, what is it? And he's and like, he's, I don't know what it is. Just, you know, me and my and thoughts. Him again, he's like, no, I don't have one. Going through life. Sailing along with the flow. You gotta break out of that flow. <laughs> no, Can't dude, live in the flow forever. You can live in the flow. No, dude, it's no, it's not. It's no fun. The flow sucks. Yeah, gotta get out of the flow. No. Gotta do your own thing. I, I do do my own thing. Living in the flow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! How about you, Ryan? Hmm? How about you? Anything that has oh, changed your life? Oh, there's, there's a string of stuff, man. I the biggest thing I think of is like work. Oh, boring. <laughs> it's not boring. It's not. Bo- See, I'm not saying your work is not... boring, but it's like I mean, there's not really much to it as where mine was. Yes, no. Cause I mean, like, work like, gave you, like, a I, work ethic. and When I think of, like, see, when I, th- when I think of work, I think of more than just, like, just work. I think of the things that came out of it. Like, overall habits, things that have changed from it. Not just, like, being there, you know, for yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like, you got this nice, fancy PC. Oh, yeah, stuff like that, dual I guess, mon- you know? Dual screen. Just the, the developing the mindset of just doing whatever you want to do. And, you know, anything's possible. You can go out there, have anything, do anything you want. Simple stuff like that. I just look at it too. It's just like I've only been working. I've just I I haven't I haven't really devoted myself at all to working. It's just to show though, when you commit to something, how you can how in the real world you can progress from seven seventy an hour to nine dollars an hour in a little over a year. Yeah, so well, that's a lot of money. Just, well, to be just, fair, you were given some great conditions at Bob Evans. I know people that have been working at Dairy Queen for upwards of like seven years now, and they still only make like ten dollars an hour. That's because it's a Dairy so Queen. It's you're not gonna make more than ten dollars an hour at a restaurant or a anything fast like food that. Chain. Yeah, you're not gonna. I mean, no. Bob managers, Evans is borderline fast food. I would say. Yeah, more managers at these stores only make like ten, twelve dollars an hour, Mike. It's not this big pay thing. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? I mean, my You're friend rewarded was... for your work ethic and how and the the effort you put forth and the kind of worker you are. My buddy was telling me how someone's been working at this KFC he's work he's been working at for I want to say like sixteen years now, and they needed a manager really bad, and the only they only promoted this person to manager because she they were they were the only person that's been there for mm-hmm. sixteen years. I mean. It's not going to be like Dairy Queen or any fast food or or food chain, honestly. But it's not going to be much of a high paying job. No, it's not. They're minimum. They're part. They're minimum wage jobs. So you can't expect the big dollars. But yeah, don't expect a lot out of it. I just think of the stuff that came out of it as a whole. The people I've met, the things that the stuff that's transpired out of that. Yeah. yeah. That kind of stuff. So, um, can we like get out of this like very deep topic and gotten and do something a little funny? What's sure. Mike, what's up? What's funny? What's 
funny. It's funny. What's hip, man? It's hip. Well, I mean, I want to talk drugs. about right, drugs. Is your, are are hip. your parents home? Hey, what do you want to talk about? Are your parents home? <laughs> I don't know. Just go. Just have it out. They, they don't. What do you uh, want to talk about? I, I want to talk about how you got caught. Oh, with that. The... <laughs> Oh, that no, it's, it's a funny story. I'll talk about it. Me and Mike already had this stuff out. I, I mean, you told me everybody. like about you texted me about it. Yeah. And I was like, no, I guess it was like, I don't even. It was funny. It was oh. honestly like the weirdest thing about it is the way I looked at the it. The fact that they found it. <laughs> kind of that like the whole thing <laughs> the to me. The fact that they the found whole the thing to me was just like this huge funny joke that I I wasn't even worried about it honestly. Like my dad, but when my dad yelled at me though, um, For what? On uh the, the night like they he talked to me about it or whatever he was like that's the most ho- hostile he, I've ever seen him. Why? What, what did he? What did he do? Or Hates say? your guts. He was like, yeah, Mike, you didn't you watch the? No, we talked, Mike. We talked about this already. You know. Yeah, I know. I I wrote this stuff down somewhere. Here, here, Corey, you can read the notes I took. Okay, I'll, I wrote I'll read it, them. I wrote it all down here. here. You can't say them out loud though. Well, okay. Not these notes, because this is kind of. Per- Wait, what are these notes about? What what was said? So I wrote it down. So don't read them out loud. Yeah, don't read them out loud. Read them in your head. Okay. Okay. And if you have questions, you can you can ask about that. But well, uh oh, where is it? Leaving the audience hanging. No, nah, there's no audience hanging. But um, they haven't made it this far. How long has it been? What? Like how how long have you been dating roughly since you? Okay, like three so months since win- you for like, like no, no, three no. months. Here's the here's the here's the window here's the window thing. We I talked to, I don't know we talked her and me talked about this a couple weeks ago because she was wondering we were like your we, handwriting is atrocious. Anyways, it, continue. That's um <laughs> it's worse than mine. Okay, so we I guess she remembers this better than I do. Like we started like talking talking. Right after I left the old the the Worcester store, right, and that was in like January or February of like January this year, February. Right? Yeah. Okay. So look back around. And then you've so been talking like, since January, February, yeah, all the way been, to June when you yeah. finished. Yeah. And that's like, and then like that is May. A long time, May, dude. I, I, that's what I. That's what I. That's when like when that we was a long time until we you were, make it official. Yeah, when we were talking about it, though, it was like. Could, well, when like, they were like, talking, we talk she's still that. dating somebody. Yeah, the the circumstances, the circumstances, the circumstances of the whole thing. It's kind of like a deep thing in a way, but it makes complete sense when you think about it and when it, the, the reality of it. But okay, so there's the window, and it wasn't like like I said with you, Mike. It wasn't like Riley and Corey talking here, but it was on and off. You know what I mean? It was steady talking, All right? Like, and it got you know <laughs> deeper and deeper for like the solid. However many months it was, I forget. It was like five. It was like four, three or four. Okay, and then stuff picked up come May or June, and then, and then it you was, started thinking it's like, oh, this is actually yeah, then something's then actually it just, happening. It here. just established the the title in hence June or Juneish. June, yeah, June. And yeah, and then since then, so it's like five months now, like official or whatever you want to call it. But then you go like it's like a nine month window, really. So. It's a decent amount of time, honestly. Since, no, oh, yeah, I see. I it's see. honestly a decent amount of time, and the way I come to think of all this stuff now, it's like it all comes down to the people, maturity, and just the the situation and how it is to de- to like debate and talk about anything that like happens or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. So, so back to what? All right, so uh, what else you got? So it's like, how did they they oh. find it? I don't know. I guess my mom was like changing trash or something. Honestly, and it was just no, like no, no, like the weird thing, like you, my we're weird, right? My house is weird. So right. my trash can, right? When you if you were doing trash, right? Right. You you wouldn't take the bag because all that's in here right now is plastic and that, right? <laughs> so my mom, being my mom, has like the other trash can from the other room. And she just puts your hand, you know, like that. Oh, or whatever. I don't, I don't know. She didn't tell me, but I don't know. Like my dad just. Oh, no, geez. I don't even know. I don't even know. Like my mom didn't say anything to me. My dad just came <sighs> in my room that night or something. And was like, your mom found rubber in something. I was like, so what's going on? And I was like, I don't know. But that was it. Honestly, <laughs> it's like all they said. Cause they didn't care. The biggest uh, well, thing. Okay, what what you told me is, or how it sounded, it was. It sounded they like flipped. you guys. That yeah, you, he did right there. He he flipped shit on me 
initially. But that's what my parents do. That's what my that's what my dad does what, at a What core. did they say? They flip shit. Everything's written down on the paper. Everything. The biggest thing that hit home was this right here. What this? This right here. What this? That's the biggest thing that hit home right there. I'll, I can't I can't say that on there. That's too private to put on there. I can't read, I can't read I'll this. I'll tell you later then. Okay. okay. <laughs> but they, he did. They did yell at me. But then it was like I did my apology thing. And it just the, the big thing of the whole thing was just that it was in their house. That was all. That was the only thing that was wrong with the entire thing. So only where did, thing. Where were they like? Like did they like? Have, so they're settled down about it now, right? I don't even fucking care, dude. They don't. They, they really. If they, they don't uh, care, then why? They, do they honestly, flip shit? That's, because that's what all parents do. My if, parents would be like, yes, they would. If they found out you, that you did that in their house, they would flip, wouldn't they, Mike? I don't know, of course, parents. I feel like my mom would lose it, and then my dad would be like, "Are you being safe about it?" And I'd be like, "They would." Yes. Like, and my dad would be like, "Okay." That's. I feel like that's the extent. Like, they would not like freak out. That they would though, like to an extent, just because. My mom would. <laughs> No, they. Oh, you no, know, here's like, here's another catch of it too. They they're gonna freak out with it if they were to find out that you did it because you're the oldest too. You're the first one to go through the motions to go mm, through. Yeah. That's that also was another thing that I didn't really think about per se right off the bat. Right. That that's that's like the big culminating thing here is you're the first person to be going through all these notions in life. The first kid to leave. First kid to do this. For you know what I mean. Yeah, I think that kind of goes back to like my dad yelling at me the other. Yeah. The other you know, week. Mm-hmm. Like, like that's, I, that's I got home and uh from swimming and then I had to go to work right away and my dad's like oh just in time you got home and I'm like for what and he's like so you can help me with with my truck and I'm like I can't I have to go to work and then so I go inside get ready for work and then for some reason my dad just yells at me and it's like he's basically saying like just I don't know it's just it was just stupid yeah, I mean, that's it. That's all it is. It's just, it's the little things that kind of get blown out of proportion or whatnot, but it's all good in the end, you know? Everything's fine. I mean, everything... I, was, I was mad at him for a few days. It's like, I didn't even want to talk to my dad. And then, like, the only thing that, the only thing they wanted was, like, an apology thing. Like, cause the only I mean, what they... am I going to, what, okay, what, in my situation, what am I going to apologize for, for going to work? What am I going to apologize? You're going to just say... You no, know, you're just gonna say like it's like I'm going to work to make money that no, you've been thing, trying no, to get thing, me to go to work, yeah, for, or get a job for months now, and when I do go to work, you yell at me for basically going to work. See, the thing it's about like, that what is am like, I gonna apologize? It's for? like what Mike said to me. It's like put yourself in your parents' shoes for a second and think of it. Your dad is your dad. He needs some help every once in a while. And I understand never, that. It's you're like, never I would've helped him. No, 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 he, no. Yeah, I know. But like, you're never around anymore. And then it's like the. They just for every adult and every parent, there's just something that happens, and they just kind of they go off every once in a while. It's just it's mm-hmm. just it's just nice that goes happen. And you happen to be the one that that he needed help with, and that the circumstances aroused that you couldn't provide the help, so he was upset about it. He was frustrated, and that's all it was, you know. I mean, granted, and my brother also like he yelled at, he was yelling at my brother, like to get my brother downstairs to help him, but like my brother didn't hear him because his door's shut and he has his headphones on. It's like playing an Xbox, so he mm-hmm. doesn't hear him. And it's like my dad was getting furious like mm-hmm. you could just tell yeah it's just, and for some reason my brother like is incapable and cannot hold something in place while he, my dad tightens it into place and it's like and my brother's crying while he's standing there holding it and he's like it, it was just like are you serious like you're yelling at me because i have to go to work and it, it just really like it's just it aggravated you because you're you're doing all this stuff you barely have any time and then uh, they I'm, find they find something to bicker at you about it, yeah and mm-hmm. like i talked to anna about it and she's like I she's like the thing I the, I think he yelled at you because because you're growing up. I mean, simple. That's Not his little baby. It's just because you're she's growing up. <laughs> that's that's all she really told me, and it's like, well, if you look at it like that point, it's like it. I mean, um, I go out on the weekends now. It's like I have a girlfriend and I have a job, and it's I go to school, and it's like um. You don't really have that much time for you or whatever, me time or time to even just be at home, and that's like another thing that I found. Um, oh, I like having like three days off or whatnot, and with the way things have been lately, it's like I actually have time. Like, there's once or twice a week now where I'm actually, you know, I get to be upstairs Oops. for a little bit, talk to my parents or whatever, yeah. just for a little bit, because that stuff means 
when you just talk to your parents for a little bit, you know, especially when you're older, it means a lot more just about what's going on, you know, if something's bothering you, you know, the future, stuff like that. It means so much to them, more than you would ever, like, more than you would believe, but it's it's a true thing. Yeah, yeah. Especially when your parents actually do care and everything. It it means it's understandable. A lot. But uh another question. How many times? Like now, okay, now <laughs> no, time out. No, no, listen, this is this is like a funny thing. So, this is we're we're in baseball right now. Dude, You've I got think first, everything's second, funny, to this, funny to this kid. It is, dude. Like everything's so funny now. My mindset has changed so much with everything. It's it's Gotta have fun. remarkable. So, we're in baseball, right? Mm-hmm. First and right, third right. base home run. So, are we talking how many times it went? We we get we hit the home run, or how many yes. times? Yes, Ryan. Home obviously, we're talking about the home run. <laughs> what else would we be talking about? Well, that's about? just twice. But I thought about that, just just twice all the way around. <laughs> okay. So, but I mean, if you think about it too, twice in like not even a month though. So that's like. I don't know, like, it's just, it's the circumstances of things, now they present themselves and stuff, like, I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna, I'll, I'll tell you later, because it's kind Who of more of a... makes the first move? I don't know. You, you don't know? Dude, it's just like, it's a weird <laughs> thing, it's like a feeling. It just like, happens. You know when it's going down. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I would know, because I... I have It's fine! <laughs> don't even worry about it. I'm not You're, worried you'll about have it. Your I'll, turn. I really am not. It's not, it's not, like I said to Mike, it's not this big thing that they're making it out to be. It's really not. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's something that people are putting on too high of a pedestal, and it's the not. Purpose it's, 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 it's the purpose of life. The, the highest thing, dude. Let logic speak. Let logic speak right here. What? The purpose of life. Right, Mike? Say that again. It's the purpose of life. It's on the highest it's pedestal. Life. It's, on the highest it's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> In fact, it probably should be higher. Fact, should be higher than be. eating. <laughs> higher than eating good More thing, more than mo- the only reason you live. Because any has anyone uh seen Kevin Hart stand up, where he was talking about how women put men on too high of a pedestal? No. I didn't oh really? That's no. a, that's a funny bit. I I got Mike finally watched. It's the, on uh, Netflix. So Mike finally watched the the what's it called video with what's his name, the comedian guy, Bo Burnham. No, about the about the about the government. Governments. What the fuck is his name? I don't know. Mike, you just watch this. Russell uh, Brand. That guy. Oh, yeah, Russell, Russell Brand. Mary did you see I did not see that. Katy Perry. What? He was what? Married to, he used to be married to Katy Perry. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, he was. So. I mean. Yeah, I mean, like, it's it's all it's all very interesting stuff. Yes. Although. What was he gonna say? I don't even know what I was gonna say, honestly. But has anyone ever heard of uh, Bo Burnham? Bo Burnham. Yeah, Bo I've Burnham. heard. I've heard of him. I've never like looked. So into him. Some of his time. irony song, his "My Family Thinks I'm Gay" song, "Little Adolf," um, "New Math." Yeah, just, new math. Just some of his songs. <laughs> his, his songs are funny that he makes. I'll, I'll show you them when, once when we get off of this. It's, they're pretty hilarious. All right. So I mean, I think that was a good show, Mike. What, what, what would you say? It's pretty good. Yeah, finally had Corey like, here. You're like, finally got Corey here. Yeah, finally got me here. Well, right? it's gonna get. I, I make the whole thing, not to brag or anything. Well, you yeah. know, Dude, it's like just you. saying. I'm it saying that of... it gets a little Go boring ahead. with just me and Ryan here all the time. It does because I'm always the one fucking yeah. talking. I know. At least when, at least when Corey's here. It's me and Corey having a conversation, and Mike then and Mike, Mike's just Mike out gets, there. To Mike make gets into it more. Comments. Mike gets into it more when there's more people. He'll get into it a little he bit barely more. Barely got into it. I, I would dude, say, dude, he just sits there and listens. He, he's a he's a listener. He cultivates. That's what he does, right, Mike? Uh-huh. Yep. I listen and I know, think. I know what he does. And browse. I know what he, he does. Listens and thinks. That's what he does. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. I bet if I, <laughs> I didn't have my computer right next to me, I'd be a lot better at this. Why don't you just be like me and then not do just not do anything? Just, just like sit not down. let it not let it be a distraction. Mike, what uh what do you use for your mic? Astros, Headphones? Eight forties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, okay. Astros. Goodies. Buy a microphone and then have a buddy come, you know? 
Yeah, do that, dude. That'd be cool. I'll come. I'll come back over to. It's it's much easier if I come to your house. It I is think. like. I mean, you should come to my house. house. Like... <laughs> Sorry, Mike, but you live forty five minutes away. Well, and honestly, the no, it's, it's the less, truth it's of this less than is, half an could, hour. is we could literally have four people. Yeah, yeah. here doing this. Like, uh, at my house, it's like it's just so ridiculously hard to get every like my headphones connected to my. Yeah, your house too is just hard to just, it just, it, it's just hard to get quiet. Yeah, it's hard to get quiet at my house. I mean, I don't have a door. I mean, mm-hmm. my room's not even supposed to be a bedroom. Yeah, you can probably get a door. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I would, like an but... old thing. It's just like, that's like the oldest, that's one of those old jokes too, like, Corey doesn't have a door. Yeah, I know. But I, I don't care. I mean, Wait, how are you gonna, how are you gonna do it when the time comes in your own home without a door? Um... Yeah, see, either it's hard enough uh, just to get the house to yourself, but then, how, <laughs> but then the awkwardness of doing it without a door. Okay, exactly okay, my okay, point. Okay. It's not him. If no one was home, I'd be okay. But door still. I wouldn't be, be stupid enough to do it when someone's home. No, no one's dumb enough to do that. Exactly. Who's stupid enough to do that? I don't know. I, I don't know. It exactly. probably has happened before. There are probably a lot of people actually. I mean. <laughs> Just saying, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. Don't ask me this, these I'm questions. I'm saying it's just like a funny thing. I just thought about that. <laughs> yeah, no door. Eh, I don't know. But, um, so what, Mike, what was that? Number 19, right? Number 19. 19. So, number 19. Dude, the Big 20 next time. Mike, we're going to have to do something cool for the Big 20. Big, big 2 Big 2 Get four people. That'd be pretty amazing. We could do that. We could get, Mike, we could get, wait, wait, we could get step Corey. Up your game. It could be Corey, Ryan, Courtney, and Anna. Courtney, Anna. Boom. See, see, I told you. I knew it. I knew where he was going with this. We could do that. I'm, I'm, I'm hip with Just that. spike the audio a little bit. And be I'd be down. sitting here. I'd be sitting here. Listen <laughs> to everybody. Oh, the conversation would be in this room. <laughs> the conversation no, would be in this not, room. It's, it's I could easily. I could, I could easily get somebody though on Skype. Like if I wanted to, I could call somebody right now and they'd probably pick up. But I'm not going oh, really? to because nobody would be able to hear him. Yeah, there you go. That, that too. Like The way we have it set up with recording it now is it's either yeah. we do it this way and then we have four people in my house or three people and then you could get two or three if you had more microphones. You could do it the same way I do it. Just buy some mics like Ryan did. You probably have enough money. How much was that? That one you're using. Uh, 40 bucks, dude. See? 40 this, bucks. That right there, this no, is probably like I'm 20. not going to buy like a, a mic so that I'm cheap. never going to use. Literally never going to use. You'd use them, though. See, I'm going to start using Do you know how much more, more professional your setup would look? Just, just... This microphone just, on this just headset for like, is like about as professional as Ryan's mic. Yeah, he has a good he has a good microphone on his headset. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. it's like, I, I like, like that. It looks it looked do. pretty cool. I mean, I'd buy one just to have one, honestly. They're nice to have. They're cool. Yeah, but they like. I, enjoy I mean, if I was talking to a friend, I'd use it. And, and I, mean, I could sometimes. spend it on yeah. something better. You know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. that too. You have a point. That's another thing that I've learned that I've that I've a uh, very weird thing that I've come to like have over the years with everything that's happened. Big belief, money, and money for me just doesn't mean. Money's just nothing to me anymore. You gotta spend it on experiences. That's they yeah, that stuff too. You gotta balance it out, and then at the end of the day, when you spend a lot of the money, it's just like it. It doesn't even. It's just money. And I don't know. It's a weird mindset to have, I guess, because people are always like bunching down when it comes to the money train or stuff. So, so money hey, train. that's number uh, number nineteen, right, Mike? Train. Row nine. I thought it was eighteen. I thought it was eighteen. No, it was nineteen. I think it was yeah, 19. 19. Was it 18? Never mind, it was 19. My bad. Mike, what are you doing with your life? Nothing. Alright, so, dude, we never established like, a way to like just piece off this thing. We're all just going to have to say, like, do something. Bye, see you the later. Time. Click it now. Click it. Later. Click it. I said bye. Hashtag later. Mike always says, Mike always says the last words. What? Always has to have the last words, don't Mike you? always has to say the last thing. That's what we do. See right, ya. Likes and favorites. Like.